To take a screenshot on the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, all you need to do is hold down the volume down and the power button for one second. Once you do that, it will snap the screenshot and you get a few more options. That's it, but stay tuned for my full tutorial and a few more tips and tricks that you need to know. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today we're gonna to really dive in, show you all the ways to take a screenshot and a few more tips along the way. Let's get started. The second way to take a screenshot is with the palm swipe to capture. You just take the side of your hand and swipe it across the screen and it will snap a screenshot. If that does not work, make sure that it is on the, in the settings. So you just go into the phone settings, go into advanced features and go down here to the bottom and make sure palm swipe to capture is on. And make sure that you also start from the very edge of your screen and go over it to do the screenshot. So the third way to take a screenshot is if you use the Google Assistant. So if I go into an app and then I hold down on the home button, it's going to pop up a few options down here at the bottom. You can say what's on my screen, what can you do, or over here you hit share screenshot. So then it will automatically take your screenshot and then pull up the share tab where you can instantly share that with any of the applications that are available. So a few extra features you can do in a screenshot. So here I snap a screenshot, then I can draw instantly, crop or share. So if I crop, that gives me the option to instantly get any part of the screen I want. And then if I just wait, it pulls up these other options where I can draw on it, share or save. So let's click the draw. And then I'm saying you wanna download this app. And then you can also change the color up here of the pen so I can make it a little more bold so you can see what I'm circling right there. And I click save and that will save it into my gallery. The fourth way to take a screenshot is built within the edge panels on the Galaxy S8. So here I swipe over and I have a few different options. I have a rectangle, oval, GIF animation, or pin to top. So is what I want to do. I'm going to go here into my gallery and let's say I want to send a screenshot of this. So if I go to the edge panel, I can click rectangle and then it automatically pulls up a square. I can snap a screenshot or I can customize it and move it that way and click done. Then if I want to share it, set it or draw on it, I can do that as well right there. But let's go back and I want to do the oval screenshot. So I take that and then I can just do this portion of the screen that I want. Click done there and it will then give me more options. I'm gonna save that one. And if you are not seeing these on the side, you just need to swipe over again and it will show up. And if you really can't find it, click on the settings here on the edge panel and make sure that you have smart select turned on right there. To use the GIF screenshot, I need to go into a video that I want to record, pull this over and choose the GIF animator. Then I select the part of the screen that I want to be in the GIF. Let's start from the beginning and then I click record and it will record that as a GIF so I can share it in a text or anywhere else and other people can see it as a video. Click stop and there I can replay it. Here I can instantly share, save or draw. Then the last option here is in the edge panel is pin to top. So let's say I have a portion of the screen I want to stay on top so I can copy that information over. Here it took the screenshot, put it right on the top of the screen so it's floating, and then I can take that info and put it somewhere else. If I tap on it, I can then download it, I can minimize the window or close that. There we minimize. There it saved it. And that is how you use all the features of taking a screenshot. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about taking a screenshot. If this video helped you out, please hit the like button as well as share it with a friend. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button because I'm going to bring you new tech tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.